Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw Sackboy from Little Big Planet. We're going to get started with the eyes. We're going to start on the left side with a circle. Starting from the top, come around towards the bottom, and then back up towards the top. We're going to do the same thing on the right side, but we're going to leave a large gap in the center here. So we're going to line up the top and draw that same size circle. On the top left side, we're going to draw a smaller circle for a highlight. So right up against the side of the eye, draw a big circle, do the same thing on the right side, on the top left. Now we're going to color the eye in black. Go to the right side and color this in black as well. Now below the eyes, I'm going to draw in a big smile. So on the side of the left eye, right here, we're going to start here, curve down and over towards the right side. Coming down in the middle, back over towards the right side, so it's lined up with the side of the eye. We're going to go back to the starting point and curve down the bottom of the mouth. So we're going to step down further, down here. Starting on the left, curve down towards the bottom, and then I'm going to make my way up towards the right side. Let's tuck the tongue inside the mouth. So on the left side, I'm going to draw a little arc that goes across towards the right. Going up and then over towards the right. Let's color the inside part of the mouth in black. Now that we've got the face, let's draw in the head. So we step up to the top and draw a curve that goes from left to right, just on the outside of the eye line. So right up here, draw a curve going up and over towards the right side, making sure it goes past the eyes. Now we're going to connect those two points with a curve for the top of the head. It's going to go up in the middle and down on the right side. Now I want to connect these two points with a curve that goes down towards the bottom of the head. So we're going to start on the left side, we're going to angle out, going around the mouth, and then just coming down towards the chin. Do the same thing on the right. So we're going to start on the right side, curving out, around the mouth, and now I'm just going to make my way towards the bottom here. So I'm just going to blend this in. Cross, and up. From here, let's add in the neck. So on the left side of the center, I'm just going to curve in and down. Go to the right, and we're going to curve in and down. We'll connect those two points with a curve along the bottom, going around like that. Now from here we're going to draw on the body, which looks like a big oval. So from the corner down here of the neck, we're going to step up, we're going to curve around towards the left, come down towards the bottom, and then we'll make our way back up on the right side. Just pull that in behind the neck. Let's add in some arms. So just on the shoulder area right here, we're going to curve out and around towards the left side. We're going to do the same thing on the right. So we're going to curve down along the bottom of the arm and then in towards the wrist. Right here, we're going to curve in the opposite direction going up. Now we're going to add in the hand. So right here at this point, we're going to step over, we're going to come down, and we're going to pull this up, almost like a half oval. From this point, I want to curve around the thumb, curving down. Now we're going to draw the tip of the finger, curving around, and we'll swirl this back up. Now we're going to layer two more fingers across this way. So about halfway down this curve, I'm going to come down with a curve, and back up, aiming sort of towards the wrist. Step down again about halfway, curve the tip of the finger. I'm just going to tuck this in behind the arm so there's a little bit of an overlap. Let's do the same thing on the right side. So stepping down, I'm going to curve out the outer part of the arm, coming down towards the wrist. We're going to go to the inside part of the arm now. So down here, we're going to curve in the opposite direction towards the wrist. Now let's layer in the fingers. So from this point, we're going to step back, draw that little half oval that comes down, and then back up. I'm going to curve around the thumb. I'm going to round out the finger, and I'm going to pull that back up. I'm going to go down to the bottom of this finger here, curve around, and then pull that back up. And then right on the side, I'm going to curve down again, and just tuck this in behind the arm. Let's draw on the legs. So in the middle, I'm going to leave a gap. On the left side, I'm going to curve down and out. On the right, we'll curve down and out towards the heel. Now I'm going to round out the bottom of the foot. So from the heel, 
curve over towards the left, curve over towards the right. Now the foot is quite thick, so we're gonna take these points, round out the ends, and come up the side of the leg. So right here, I'm just gonna round it out and come up. On the right, we'll round it out, come up. Now from here, I just wanna curve in towards the body. So on the left side, I'm gonna round this out and just pull this in behind the body. We'll do the same thing on the right. So curving in and just pulling it right in behind. The final step is the big zipper in the middle here. So down, down below the neck, I'm gonna draw two lines side by side. We're gonna close off the top with a straight line and one at the bottom with a straight line. About well, halfway down here, we're gonna draw some little squares. So we're gonna surround the bottom half with a little square. We're gonna step up and draw a line going across on the other side. Now we're gonna angle out and down. Coming out on the left and then the right. We're gonna connect those two points with a curve on the bottom back up on the right. Now we're gonna want to draw that little handle notch. So this curve down here, we're just gonna duplicate it just above it, leaving a space on either side. We're gonna go up in an angle on the left, and then on the right, and we'll close off the top with a straight line. Now with a little, little detail up here, right here, we're gonna angle up towards the left, up towards the right. Now we're gonna connect those two points with a half circle right into the neck, and then back down. Now we're gonna add the zipper in behind here. So these two points, we're gonna step in, draw a little line coming down on either side, and we're gonna continue this line down below towards the lower torso on either side like that. Right in here, we're just gonna draw horizontal lines that go all the way across evenly spaced from left to right. We go up, we'll just fit as many as we can. One more right here. And that is pretty much it. There we have it. There's Sackboy from Little Big Planet. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send us your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.